What it do, everybody? This is Courtney. Let's talk about this bullshit with Treasure, y'all. Come on. Treasure, Dr. Phil, her goddamn mammy. And, and hey, hey, the fallback promise. Yes, indeed. And Tasha K. Oh, why wow, would Tasha damn K, y'all? Yes, indeed, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. I just got through eating. So, excuse the burp. But, okay. Me and, like, quite, uh... Quite a few other, you know, blacks and everything, you know. Soon we saw Treasure open her mouth talking about all that bullshit that came out her fucking throat. You know, we felt some kind of way. You know, she says that she's white. Uh, She's been white all her life. And, and, and you know, her hair flows like silk in the air. And... And her lips ain't big, and she built like Kim Kardashian, and her nose ain't wide, and it don't uh, suck up all the white man's hair. And her hair, her, you know, her ain't kinky, ain't nappy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> silk, my nigga, silk. And all these things that, you know, uh, you know, blacks, you know, their mentality is nothing but criminal, and all that, and... Yada yada this, I have nothing for them Negroes. And that as I see her spout all this motherfucking toxic viscera. And I'm like, baby girl, why is you talking about yourself and your mammy? And I'm like, ooh, the self-hate is motherfucking real. And then I had to think about it. Insta fame is a hell of a drug, ain't it? Surely, you know, you know. Rick James had cocaine. Nowadays, we got Insta fame. And it's a hell of a drug. You sell your soul just, just to be a meme, I guess. And so, when I first heard this mess, and when I first saw it, and I was like, Dr. Phil, really? Has your ratings went down? It has. Your ratings that went down? What, why is you pulling Maury stunts? Because this is the type of shit that I would see on Maury or Jerry Springer. Even Steve, Wil- Steve Wilkos, you know, this kind of spill. Because, yeah, Trezor, she told, you know, articulate back straight and everything. Her head was snapping and everything. But let's be real. Put her beside a motherfucking young Thundercat thought and everything. She talking about, I'm 13 and everything. I this and that. I don't fuck by 50 men, you know, and all that stuff. And they buy me sneakers and they buy me, you know, whatever. Yada, yada, this and yada, yada, that. Boom, boom, boom. My mama ain't shit. Yada, yada, yada. I take her back. Let's delete the ratchery. Let's delete the head, the head snapping. Let's delete the sad somewhat. Put side by side by motherfucking trails. What is it? And it's 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 a Maury stunt. It's a uh it's it's one of them. And so and I'm looking at it like this can't be real. Cause in my core it felt like it wasn't real. And I tend to trust my gut. And I tend to trust that feminine tuition. I tend to trust that man's eye. You know that third eye and everything. You know like mm. my ancestor said, "Nah, bitch. Nah, that ain't, that 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 dog don't hunt, baby. It don't hunt." You know, and so guess what? It never did. Come find out, it's all a lie, all a mammy fucking lie. And so, you know, with the whole thing with Doctor Phil, and the and the you know the platform he got, and you know he's seen all over the world by millions upon millions upon millions upon millions. And so, due to the fact that he's on a, you know, uh, CBS, not even the fact that he's on CBS, you know, he's part of Oprah's brand. So, when he's part of Oprah's brand, you kind of, motherfuckers tend to take that shit as gospel. And so, when I was saying, you know, a whole lot of people was mad at Dr. Phil. And when it seemed to me, like, motherfuckers, y'all more mad at Dr. Phil than a mammy. Yeah, he had the platform. If he didn't, another motherfucking talk show would. But y'all mad at the platform. Why y'all ain't mad at the content creator? We're just the mammy. You know? We see this shit all the time on Maury, Jerry Springer, and all that other shit. We laugh, kick, kick, and laugh and holler. 
What makes his show greater than uh, greater than the rest of them? For what I heard, Doctor Phil ain't even no doctor. I heard he ain't even a doctor. Do anybody know? That's what I heard. I heard he ain't even no real motherfucking doctor, y'all. So what's what's really good? Am I upset? Yeah, I could be upset at Doctor Phil. Yeah, but I can't be. I can't be too upset with him. He was doing a job. I'm gonna say this her motherfucking man. And when I had every right to be upset at her. And guess what? I was right. It's a lie. It was Tasha K. Now y'all can say what y'all want about to say about Tasha K. I don't whine with Tasha K. Why those unite whatever? I ain't no whine no, I'm just here. I ain't no stand for nobody but myself. You get me? So, you know, Tasha K stirs controversy. You know, that's her brand or whatever. You know, she she dropped through fucking interviews. And it is either you love her or you hate her, y'all. You love her or hate her. And all that stuff. I ain't gonna never knock a bitch's hustle. Never. Never knock a bitch's hustle, y'all. She had the older sister there, Nina. Let me tell y'all something. Nina is beautiful. Nina is pretty. And if you put a picture between her and motherfucking treasure side by side, you could see they fight for. Now, when when it's your old treasure speaking all that shit, let's be real. We ain't give a fuck that girl that was somebody's kid or somebody's child. 16-year-old, you motherfucking know better, bitch. Yes, we talked about you like a goddamn motherfucking dog. We called you everything but a child of the most high. Yes, the fuck we did. We're like, you you gonna spew all that shit. And look at you. Yeah, we did. You know we did. Come on, Dad. Let's be real. Don't, don't, don't say. Uh, uh-uh, I would never talk about a child like that. I'm grown enough to know. As soon as I heard her spew that shit, I sure the fuck did. Did I ask for forgiveness? Mm-hmm. Why I was still motherfucking call her everything but a child of God. And then I, then when that initial anger ebbed off. And then I looked at it again, and then I thought about it, and I like, yo, mammy, fucking mammy. And then I started laying on the fucking mammy. Because all her goddamn fault, bitch. And so, the older sister, she let it be known. She said something about the, uh, uh, the stepdaddy. And, you know... Treasure was saying that, you know, she's white because her daddy is white. And, you know, it's been said that that motherfucker a white supremacist. And then motherfuckers looking around like, how, why would a white supremacist lay with a lay with a black bitch? I'm looking at y'all niggas like, well, how the hell most of us get here? How most of us got here, y'all? If you're a descendant of slaves, baby, how most of us got here? White supremacists has all, they've been raping black women and whatever. Hell. Shit. My grandma done told me fucking stories of motherfucking clan members. Motherfucking high rank clan members. They had their whole white family. And what what happened? They had their all that black family across the goddamn white. Or they had black kids sparkled around and all that stuff. When the hell racism ever made a white racist dick south, bitch? And whenever has racism ever made a white racist woman pussy dry? Ever. Ever. So, for people to say that shit, you know, why? Do y'all, do y'all check your history? Y'all check your history? Yeah, okay. Whatever. So, the sister basically said, you know, she said that uh, it's all a lie. 
and which I had, I was lurking through YouTube, and it was like classmates saying the same thing. Like, she don't even act like that. Why is she acting like that? We don't get it. We don't understand. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. And I like, so that man be fucking man, man. I said, so the mother, you sold your child's soul and yours for what? Insta fame, which you want your child to be a mean. You thought the child was going to get some money from being a mean? Uh-uh, that don't happen. I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all about, uh, what, how many years? How long has Instagram been, been on, on the pop? Because the only sister that I know that I read that have actually made any money from a mean, her being a mean, y'all done seen the uh, mean of the uh, sister. You know, she got round head. You know what I mean? She light skin. She got a little struggle ponytail. She got a hand out like that. Like, like that. She sued, what, Instagram or whatever for millions of dollars? She got paid. I'm sorry, baby. You uh you not um you too late for that trying house. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You know, what was you trying to do? What you thought you were gonna uh that treasure was gonna be what? Another catch me outside girl? How about that? Mm mm. That ain't one gonna work, baby. Uh you ain't white. I'm so I'm sorry, it wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna work. Catch me outside, girl. Yeah. She is ratchet and all that fucking shit. And you hate her and all that shit. Is she a culture vulture? Many will say and not appropriation and all that stuff. It's folks that say she ain't like that in real life. I don't know the bitch, so I couldn't tell you. And all that. And do I roll my eyes at her? Yup. I love my fucking culture, but it's slowly it's leaving us, y'all. But all in all, they can make money off of her. She is profitable. Baby, they, they wasn't going to make no money off of you. I'm sorry, hon. That wasn't going to happen. So, the sister said that the mother met the stepfather at a mental hospital. He was grieving the loss of his wife, and she was there. We don't even know. So I guess we can say it's some form of mental illness, whatever. And, you know, shit just popped off from there. Six or seven kids by five different men. And the girl let it be known that they father. Yeah, he won their blood. And, yeah, he won their day race. But he raised them kids for however long he was on that earth when he got with her. He raised them kids and loved them kids and yada, yada, yada. And in, they, in her eyes, in that oldest girl eyes, he was not a racist. Now, we don't know about, you know, his life at work or whatever or whatever. But we going by what her words say. She missed him. She loved him. I saw the pain in her eyes. And the thing was like with Tasha K. It was serious. Tasha K felt disturbed in her soul. I saw this shit. You know, and you know, Tasha K don't like ain't shit mothers. She really hate ain't shit mothers. She be on hate ain't shit mothers. Her foot be on their neck. Like her foot stay on R. Kelly's neck. So when the when the sister told told her side of the story, and you know, Talked about the girl, Treasure. Treasure ain't in that woman's custody. Tre Treasure got snatched up by CPS when she was 14. Treasure's on the run from CPS. They don't know where the fuck she at. And it's other kids. They had to deal with abuse. You know, from her. I'm guessing from the men she was with. And all this shit. And your motherfucking ass. You motherfucking disgusting that piece of shit of a mammy. You stood, sat on that fucking stage. All verklempt. Holding your pearls like, I just don't know. And you set your child up for failure. 
The girl said, uh, Nina said that, you know, she'll go out, make sure she look good and all that stuff. Make sure she look clean. She look put together. Oh, hood rat ass bitch. And the kids be starving and all that stuff. Hood rat tactics. You let your child, you let your daughter get on national TV. While you looking good and clean and everything. And look at, look at. Shut up, corner. Shut up, corner. Shut up. Mm-hmm. You sold your, you sold your child. So you got, you got your. You don't know. You don't put a red dot on your daughter. You know niggas are crazy. You know niggas don't care. They see that girl out in the street. They might, they gonna jump that little girl. You don't set your child up for failure. You don't set your child up to get jumped. Folks are crazy. Please, I hope they take all them kids from you. Every last one of you. Every last one of them children. If they young, her age, you know, treasure age, young or whatever, snatch them all. Do an investigation on your motherfucking ass. And all that shit. That's sad. It's ridiculous. You sold your soul for Insta fame. Insta fucking fame. We could talk about it now. You know, we'll talk about, you know, we could talk about like, you know, motherfuckers talking about the love of money. No, they don't they don't say the love of money. They say money is the root of all evil. Which we all know for sure that it's the hunger of money, the thirst, the love of money, the abuse of money. It's the root of all evil. Is it just me or do it seem like that's getting replaced by fame? It's the fame. You want to be insta famous. You want to be this and everything. You sell your soul for fame. And you ain't even guarantee guarantee no bag. Is that just me? It seems like it to me. It does. It seems like it to me. We rather sell our souls to be immortalized. You know, uh, you know, I guess in the back of, you know, the young kids' mind, the uh people, just humans in general. When they spend a lot of their time on the internet, through social media. I spend a lot of time on social media, on internet too. You know what I'm saying? But I do know my soul. At least I hope the fuck I do. You know? And I think in the back of their mind, they think, well, I'm on internet, I make this video, yada, yada, this, and yada, yada, that. I'm immortalized forever. Not really. Because as of now, being that social media and being that the internet is basically its own fucking entity. It is its own, you might want to say its own deity. It's its own motherfucking God. That it basically controls human brain cells, but human brains and stuff like that, that will forget you. Just that quick. So, as we talking about this shit now, as we feeding the machine, and as we doing this or whatever, a couple of weeks from now, something else will pop off. Then what? Then something else will pop off again. Then what? It happens. It is what it is. Treasure, I'm going to pray for you, girl, but you know better. You're 16 years old. You know the shit that you spewed out your mouth wasn't right. You know it, but you follow your mama. You want to be insta. You wants to be famous and all that stuff like that. Do better. But your mammy ain't shit, uh, lady. I don't know your fucking name. I choose not to. I really don't motherfucking care, bitch. You ain't shit. And whatever bad luck befall on you, may it do. You so wrong for this. You done sold your fucking child soul for what? And got the bill. Last but not least. 
How your credibility looking? How is your credibility looking? Uh, you don't fuck, you don't put a dent in your brain, ain't you? Ain't you supposed to properly vet that shit? Make sure that shit true? Or you just saw something out of like, oh, this is just amazing. This is just out of pocket. Oh, let's just stir the fucking pot. Especially with the uh, how the you know the racial climate is now. Oh, let's motherfucker add more fuel to the fucking fire hole. That's what you get. What the fuck ever. Fuck everybody. It's just, it's just a hot fucking mess. It's just a hot mess. It's crazy. It don't make no sense. Listen, y'all. Go down wine with Tasha K and go to her video. Well, I know y'all probably uh done watched it and everything. I'm I'm shouting her out like I'm a big name. I ain't shit. But listen, y'all, we can't sell our souls just to be a meme, bro. We got we got we gotta love ourselves more than know that we are worth more than that. And I think a whole lot of us don't really know our true self worth. We gotta start. We gotta do better, y'all. We gotta do better. We got to do better. If not, we're gonna get more of these. More of these. More of these. Please. It's a mess. It's a hot mess. Listen, y'all. I'll be back. I gotta do some videos. You know, do some reviews. I ain't forgot about our shows, y'all. But I just felt I had to get this off my chest. And I'm glad I finally was able to get it off my chest. I tried to record this shit about three, four times. It will work. But I feel good now. I feel better. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And yada, yada, this. And yada, yada, that.